annual Crown of the Continent Guitar Festival is alive with world-class scenery and music. Each summer at Flathead Lake Lodge near Big Fork, Montana, the festival offers hands-on training from big-name artists and instructors. And, uh, think more straight eighth notes but legato. Don't try and be too bouncy with it. I think the most important thing is to try and, and help people sound more musical. I'm almost like a, a musical psychiatrist. You know, <laughs> you know, you got a lot of chops, but are you actually saying something with them? You know. I'm going to slide. Instructors offer classes for beginners to advanced players in a variety of musical styles, including jazz, folk, rock, classical, and more. The festival has been around since only 2010, but it's already a major success. The coolest thing about it is making a difference in our community. David Pfeffer helped to spearhead the festival. After hosting a benefit concert by instructor Andrew Leonard, David began brainstorming with others about how to bring more musical performance and instruction to Montana. The Crown of the Continent Guitar Festival was starting to take shape. I kept asking people, I said, please tell me this is a horrible idea. <laughs> so I didn't want to you know, get sucked into something that didn't make sense. And everybody sort of looked at Sodom and says, no, that'd be a really super idea. David formed a partnership with the National Guitar Workshop, which hosts various teaching events in the United States and Europe. What we call it NGW is a series of week-long summer programs for students as young as 14 and as old as 80. And they come from all over the world to study with wonderful musicians, mostly in guitar, but also keyboard, bass, drums, and vocals. Montana organizers wanted to invite a big-name artist to be part of the initial festival in 2010. So they decided to ask jazz guitarist Pat Metheny. You know, people said, well, that's not going to happen. And I said, we you know, want to invite he and his family to come out for the week. And people laughed. I insist. I said, I want to invite his wife and kids. So we reached out to them. And we did not get a no <laughs> initially. So that was good. Pat agreed to come to the festival. And while he usually gives workshops lasting no more than a day, he and his family stayed for the entire week. The festival offers activities for students, but also for their family members, including outdoor recreation and classes in art, yoga, and more. But the main thing is the music. In 2011, the festival featured more guitar heavyweights like blues player Joe Bonamassa, jazz artist Lee Rittenauer, and rocker Steve Lukather. I'm here as the rock guy. I think they can't really put a label on me. I was never good at sports or anything, so this kind of became my life dream. And, you know, sometimes your dreams do come true, but I worked hard. I still practice every day. Every time you break through a door as a musician, there's another door. So everybody comes here to this wonderful place to kind of chill out and bounce ideas and listen to other players. And no matter what level, if you're a beginner or a total pro, I sat in on everybody's seminars, or as many as I could when it wasn't overlapping, because I'm learning stuff too. Besides learning stuff, faculty and artists come here to play and teach. It's the tone is better, and it's, and it's, and it's, it's, it's just, for me, it has more feeling. You know, anybody can play the notes. You can teach anyone to play the notes, but how do you feel them? How do you translate them? And how does that, how does that translate to a live audience? Obviously, Montana has a, has a big win, and Big Fork has even a bigger win, you know, because they're getting all this great music in their neighborhood. It's, it's not like any master class workshop music festival that I've ever seen. It's this incredible hybrid of uh, nature meets the guitar. Some of the money raised at the festival benefits regional organizations, including the Glacier Park Fund and the nonprofit North Valley Music School in Whitefish. This is not about making money. We're very clear. You know, this was about establishing this area as a premier center for the guitar in the world. It actually is inspiring me to play more. So that's that's the key thing. That's why I came here. I'll probably be able to bring like a lot of the technique home.
stuff that you can practice and like work off of. Came out to the porch over here and not 10 feet away, Joe Bonamas is sitting at a picnic table. A couple guys went over and started talking to him and a few minutes later, we were all talking to Joe Bonamassa one-on-one -on -one, and it was unbelievable. <laughs> Bringing something that really has the potential to make a major impact on the cultural life of this part of Montana is, I mean, we're only here for so long and we need to leave something of value behind. And to me, this is something that has enormous value. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.